Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of How Hard Can It Be To Raise 10 Kids? So far we've learnt that uh, it's not easy, especially when you have three infants. So just to bring you up to speed, I have four toddlers, Polly, Peter, Jimmy and Joseph, but Jimmy and Joseph only just became toddlers so I'm not too fussed about them gaining skills. Polly and Peter, however, they only have one day before they age into children, so I really want them to get level 3 in all of their skills. I can see Polly's already pretty close, she just needs to go potty a few times. Peter needs to work on his community. yeah, Peter still has quite a bit of work to do on his skills before he ages up. We have three children, they've all done their homework, they're good kids! They go to school every day, they help out around the house, they help with the infants. We've got three infants. And in one day, they will all become toddlers, which will be good times. I'm looking forward to that. Um, maybe we should change Serenity's diaper. Uh-oh, this kid's got a sentiment. What's your sentiment, kid? You feeling left out? Unloved? Ignored. Edwin is feeling overshadowed by his sibling. Oh, Edwin. Well, you're one of ten. You're going to have to get the fuck over it. Austin's doing pretty good in his job. He's at career level five. He still needs, what, one gardening skill and two logic skills. Okay, it's kind of difficult to keep on top of his, um, his promotions and stuff with all the kids and all of their needs, but I'm trying to make time to help him with his skills as well, because I would like him as well to slowly grow up his career ladder too. He's only one day away from becoming an adult. And I'm thinking with Polly and Peter, once they get to the skill levels they need, I'm just going to age them into children. All right, Pete, you've done enough thinking. Uh, maybe come and have a chat to your sister, Sophie. Work on your communication a little bit. Pete, why aren't you doing anything? Do I need to reset you? I guess so. It's almost Polly's birthday. Oh, I know. I know it's almost Polly's birthday. That's why I'm stressing to get all of her, her skills where they need to be. And then, Pete, maybe you can sit yourself on the potty. All right, Pete really needs the bathroom. That's good. What's wrong, Pete? You see a fox? Is there a fox around here? Oh, yeah, over there. Don't worry. Don't get shy. The fox isn't a pervert, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Potty level three for Polly. Okay, well, then in that case, Polly, you can go ahead and age up, kid. I'm not sure if she's going to age up with the good toddler trait though because all of her siblings also got level three in all their skills and they didn't age up with any kind of toddler trait they just got top-notch infant all right polly congratulations did you get any reward traits no just top-notch infant weird oh i see there's someone angry over here what's your problem tired yeah okay claire you've got which one's this one serenity serenity's tired give her a hand will you all right, we will put Serenity in bed, because Serenity's only issue is that she's tired. Then we've got Felicity over here. Oh, her needs are fine. Oh, Claire, you've been doing such a good job of taking care of these kids. It's just Harmony that needs a little bit more attention. Three infants, three toddlers, four children. And then Harmony, we are going to change Harmony's diaper. And then Harmony really needs a bath. Give a bath to Harmony. And how are the toddlers getting on? Joseph, he's okay. He's a bit peckish, so we'll get dinner started soon. Jimmy, similar feeling. And then we got Pete, who feels the same way, but we kind of need to work more on Pete's skills so that he can age up. So you know what, Pete? Come and play in the ball pit. Oh, you know what, Austin? If you finish doing your gardening stuff, what are your skills at? You still didn't get that gardening point. Okay, well, maybe do some flashcards with Peter. Oh, teach to talk. There we go. Teach Pete to talk. Look at the state of those potties. Gross. Oh, Pete is so close, though. He just needs a little bit in communication and a tiny bit in movement, and then he's done. Claire, did you take care of the infants? Are they all clean? Happy? She's good. This one... Okay, she's sleeping, so that's fine. This one you didn't give a bath, even though I told you to give it a bath. Honestly, I cannot leave you Sims unsupervised for five minutes, because you never do what I ask you to. All right, Pete, let's play in that bull pit. You're so close to movement level three, and then we'll age you up to a child. And maybe you'll go to school today. Uh-oh, the toddlers are not happy. They're all really tired. All right, boys, well, just take yourself to bed. Oh, this is hard work. Can you um, clean that baby? No? 
Okay, fine. At least the mum is serving food, so that's something. Oh, Pete's got his movement skill. Okay, awesome. Right, Pete. You are going to become a child now, boy. He can be self-assured. Okay, cool. Hopefully they all get the school bus today. And then Claire only has to deal with five children. Oh, celebrate Harmony's birthday, Serenity's birthday. All right, so the three infants are about to become toddlers. Claire, what are you doing? Go back to resuming that food. Your family are hungry. Feed them. Oh, I think there's some kind of glitch with the bath now, because no one is bathing this child who desperately needs to be bathed. Claire keeps crossing off. Oh, I hate infants. I hate infants so much. Right, I think the kids are going to school. That's right, guys. Get out of the house. Go to school. Okay, so Polly and Pete, they can't go to school. Probably because they've only just become kids, but that's that's fine. Claire, can you go resume that food? Uh, Austin, I think you've got work. Yeah, okay. Just leave the toddlers, Austin, and instead see if you can clean the bath before you've got to go to work. Oh, Claire, you didn't even serve food. You just made a bowl for yourself. Oh, you selfish bitch. Right, well, everyone is happy, so you know what, Claire? I'm gonna have you serve... Hmm... I'm gonna have you cook a group meal, franks and beans. We're gonna cook a group meal of franks and beans and then put it in the fridge so that we've got it there ready for dinner time. You know what, actually? Let's cook together with Polly. We'll try and do a little bit of family time together. Try and teach our kids something useful. Pass on the skill of cooking. Oh, why haven't you gone to work, Austin? Oh, no. Stop crossing off work to look after the infants. Why do infants have to take over everything? Go to work. Hate infants. You guys are just about to age up now anyway. I wonder if the kids can age up the infants. Who's this? Oh, it's a maid. Oh, I forgot I hired a maid. Well, maid, can you do your job? Did you guys give up on cleaning? Oh, you made it. Okay, perfect. We'll stick that in the fridge. And then Claire, if you can clean the bathtub, that would be great. Oh, no, it's okay. The maid's got it. That's good. Well, then in that case, Claire, I think we should probably age up these infants now. They've been infants for long enough. Age them up. I am more than ready to kiss goodbye to the infant years. Let's go, Claire. Oh, Felicity earned the bonus trait. That's good. Hopefully all all of my toddlers age up with the infant bonus. The maid's vacuuming. Oh, that's nice to see. Nice to see. Glad I hired him now. Harmony can be a charmer. Oh, Harmony did not get the top-notch infant trait. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh, it's, but Serenity did. Okay, so Harmony is the neglected child here. Harmony is the only one that did not get a trait out of 10 children. Right, you know what I'm going to do? As the parent, I am going to form a group with all of the children that are home. We're all going to go outside into the play area and then I'm going to get rid of the infant room and turn it into a more effective toddler room because we kind of need it now. Okay, perfect. No more cribs. Bye-bye. So now I'm going to make this the toddler room. So all of the toddlers are going to sleep in there. And we've got five kids. Three girls and two boys. So this is going to be the girls' room. I mean, they already have a little activity table, but I might get them a little doll's house or something. There we go. They can have a doll's house. And then this can be the boys' bedroom. We'll just get them bunk beds toy chest. I'll give them an activity table as well. Okay, perfect. And you know what else? I'm going to grab a telescope for the dad because he needs to get some logic points. Perfect. I feel like it's a bit easier now with just toddlers. I know it's still a lot of toddlers, but toddlers are a lot easier to deal with than infants are. Pete, have you not got any homework to do? Yeah, okay. Do your homework. And then also, Polly, what are you doing? You need to do your homework as well. I'm not even intending them to be strict, but all of the social dynamics I'm getting for the parents and all of their kids is strict. So I guess they are strict. Some of my toddlers already have like level five communication. I'm mainly focused on Jimmy and Joseph right now. Why are you angry? What's your fucking problem? Where's my attention? Oh, Pete. Pete feels like the forgotten child. Bless him. Oh, the kids are back. All their grades are up. Are they all B-grade students now? 
Yes, okay, in that case, we are going to form another group with all the kids. Erica, Sophie, um, I think that's it, because Peter and Polly haven't actually been to school yet. And then all of you, as a group, do homework together. So this kid should be building his movement skill. Oh, you're done on the potty? Good, good for you, well done. You can come play in the ball pit as well, work on your movement skill. And, oh, loads of homeworks complete. Good job, good job. I'm guessing Austin is back? No, what time do you finish work, Austin? 5 p.m. Oh no, Austin's starting to get burnout, that's not good. Right, you only brought home 300 simoleons. I think it's time for a promotion, Austin, so... I'm going to have you look through the telescope. We'll get your logic skill first and then we'll get your gardening skill done, okay? Oh, these two are so cute, playing together in the ball pit. I like this little area. It's a great place for toddlers to gain skills. Okay, Jimmy's at level three movement. So you know what, Jimmy? You can go play with dolls and work on your imagination. And then Claire, as soon as you're finished potty training Joseph, I'm going to have you go and serve up food because everyone's getting hungry. Oh, all the kids are getting leftovers. Oh, that's good. Okay, at least they're feeding themselves. Okay, Claire should be cooking dinner. Why do you keep crossing off everything I tell you to do, Claire? Bitch. Serve dinner. Your family are hungry. Okay, finally she's doing it. How's Austin getting on? Oh, did you give up on logic? Did you get your logic skill point? No, you just got level one. Okay, well, that's something. Tell you what, go and use the bathroom, Austin. And then I'm going to have you come and use the telescope again. We're going to get a promotion tomorrow, Austin, okay? Trust me. Did you finish making dinner, Claire? Yeah? Okay, great. So let's do um, call to meal. And then that way all of the toddlers will come and help themselves. And then everyone's been fed. Okay, everyone grab a serving. I think everyone's getting food. Yeah, everyone's getting food. Okay, so all of the hungry kids won't be hungry for much longer. There should be enough for everyone. All right, cool, cool. Everyone's being fed. It's nice to see everyone sat at the table together for a family meal. Yeah, this is nice. Austin, we are going to get you your skill points, okay? Whether you like it or not. How far is he? Oh, he's pretty close to gardening level six as well. Okay, that's really good. Uh-oh, Serenity's very hungry. Well, why didn't you eat, Serenity? Is there not any food left? Oh, shit, all the food is gone. Can't really be asked to use high chairs. Um, Claire, go and get leftovers and then give the food to Serenity. Also, Austin just noticed a meteor, so Austin, you can come inside. Okay, and the hungry kids, just eat some franken beans and then we'll try and get everyone to bed. Okay, this one needs attention, but you know what? That's just going to have to wait. This one is tired. He's gone to sleep. Okay, cool, cool. Can we get everyone to bed? Everyone going to go to sleep? Do we think? The child boys are in bed. That's good. What about the toddlers? Why aren't the toddlers in bed? Claire, you may as well go to bed. And then Austin, I am going to have you dispose of these dead plants. I am determined. We are going to get a promotion. We've gone too long just letting time pass us by, not getting a promotion. Oh, we've got our level two logic skill. Okay, that's good. So we literally just need gardening. So we should have all five children going to school today. And I think for Claire, probably what we'll do is we'll take all of the toddlers outside in the garden area where they can build their skills. And then we'll leave the house to the maid who can take care of all of this shit in here. I would say, Claire, for now, while we wait for everyone to go to school, maybe we could serve something just to make life a little bit easier later on in the day when everyone's hungry. So make a breakfast scramble and then we'll just place it out and then everyone can pick at it throughout the day. So there's always food on offer. This is a madhouse. I wonder what her skill level is in cooking now. Level six? Oh, not bad, not bad. She's better at cooking than Austin is at gardening. All right, call to meal, everyone. Just grab yourselves a plate, feed your, feed your faces. Whose homework is this? Could be this kid's. Yeah, it's hers. Okay, cool. Everyone else got their homework books? Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Everyone's got their homework books. 
everyone's getting the bus to school. You know you've got a big family when a, a serving of a meal isn't enough for everybody. All right, Claire, I suggest you make the rounds on the potty now. We've got to potty train all these kids. Oh, the kids are all running for the school bus. Make sure you get there on time. Don't be late. It's 8.30, guys. Get out the door. Come on. Oh, Austin aged up. Oh, good for you, Austin. Good for you. Right, go to school. Where the fuck is Edwin? Okay, he's gone to school. Good. Oh, you kids are so late. Austin, you've got to go to work. Oh, wait, no, he's got a day off today. Oh. Oh, no, he doesn't. Right, Austin, go to work right now. Why have you not gone to school? Go to school right now. You're an hour and a half late. Okay. Oh, no, I think I have, like, a glitch going on with Edwin. He's just not, not going to school. Go to school, Edwin. Oh, fucking hell. What if I reset him and then say go to school? Okay, finally he's gone to school. Only two hours late. He's not going to get very good grades, is he? Okay, Joseph. You are almost at potty level two. That's good. That means you'll be able to take yourself to the potty. And then, Joseph, you can come play in the ball pit till you get to movement level three. How long do you have before you age up? Just one day. Okay. Joseph and Jimmy. Oh, Joseph got level three of the movement skill. Okay, great. So, Joseph, go and play with the Sims. Oh, my God. I'm getting so many pop-ups for these kids. Claire, are you still doing potty training? We need to potty train these kids, like, as soon as possible. Get on it, Claire. Lazy bitch. It's almost Jimmy's birthday. Yeah, I know. And it's almost Joseph's birthday as well. I'm doing my best here, game. Okay, Jimmy's reached level 2 imagination. I'm going to get Jimmy to play on the iPad. Try and get level 2 thinking. Joseph is slightly further ahead than Jimmy, but not massively. Claire, are you doing potty training? What are you doing? You're just standing there. You're standing there with your finger in your ass, Huh? I think maybe Pete's had a bad day. He's sulking around the shop. What's your problem now, Pete? Strange place from cautious trait. Oh, dear. Right, let's form a little homework group again. You guys know the rules. Polly, Edwin, Erica, and Sophie. We're all going to go and do our homework, guys. Get it done. We want A-grade students, all of you, okay? No dicking around. Look at all these birth certificates. Or, or uh, baby prints, anyway. I'll tell you what, Claire, you could do, which would be useful, is... Which one is it? One of them doesn't have level 2 potty skill. Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't. So, Claire, you can potty train Jimmy. Hopefully, then he'll get his level 2 potty skill, and then he can take himself from now on. Claire, can you do what I ask? I hate Claire. She just doesn't fucking listen. Oh, Austin didn't get a promotion, but you worked so hard, Austin. He's like on he's definitely going to get a promotion next time though. And you know what? On that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. We've got five children, five toddlers, and I expect in the next episode we've got Jimmy and Joseph just one day away from becoming children so i expect in the next episode we'll have seven children and three toddlers thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe you know i love it when you do that and i'll see you in the next video bye bye